high vinyl community. It's Maria. Um, I'm going to show the top five cassettes that I got in 2022. And I noticed I bought way more cassettes in 2022 than I have the past 20 years. Uh, I don't know if uh, cassettes are making a resurgence or uh, is it because the skyrocketing costs of vinyl? And uh, but be before we get into that, I just want to show I have been just engrossed in the issue of the first issue of Doctor and the Kid comic book. It's by Haggis Comics. So uh, Haggis Comics is Stevie from Stevie's Vinyl and Doctor and the Kid or Doctor October and Ryan Kid. I got I I was one of the lucky win winners on the Doctor and the Kid's thirtieth live stream extravaganza. So basically, um, the the duo has sort of pissed off uh, the evil sphincter um, and they're, you know, are they going to cancel the live stream? What's going to happen? My favorite part. So, um, so yeah, there's an ad for B side beer, but over, over there, pig face is standing guard to some cells and different people are saying, um, Oh, back in the day. So that might be Lionel or vinyl Richie. Um, and then, uh, Yo, any chance of a bourbon? I think John at Bip Bop Boom says yo. I don't know. But this one, please let me go. I work for Devo. That's got to be Michael Pilmer. So since he spoke those words, I think you all know what happens anytime Pilmer says Devo. So let's all have a drink. Mm. So there are ads in here. Yeah, B-side beer. There's an ad for Marky Ramone's new 7-inch single. And Marky Ramone, uh, so the 7-inch single Marky be great, Marky be good, or on both sides. But Marky Ramon also debuted his, what is it, Marky is a punk rocker on the live stream. Huge moment. So yeah, this is volume one, or the first issue of Doctor and the Kid. Really great artwork, and I feel like such a winner for having won the best prize on the Doctor and the Kid 30th live stream. So, um first cassette so i got off's new album free lsd and um i got i i chose to get the cassette because um yeah when i looked at the vinyl prices i'm like i want their record i'm gonna get it on cassette but anyway um i've waited about eight years i bought i think it was wasted years was it 2000 2014 i bought that new so I've waited eight years. Um, it's, of course, you know, Keith Morris and Dimitri Coates, but this uh, version of Off is Autry Fulbright II. And, um, oh, it's, where are my glasses? Justin Brown. Now, um, of course, it's hardcore, but there it's almost like industrial. And, um, and then almost, there's also free jazz. And they have a saxophonist named... Uh, or joining them, John Wall. So he he wails on this. Uh, free jazz. I look at it instead of individual songs. I listen to it as a whole because there is a song. There's F, L, S, and D, and those uh, are like little segues between the songs. So yeah, I don't look. I don't listen to this as just individual songs in a row. I take it, you know, almost as a concept album. You know, I take it as a whole. And I enjoy it. It's worth waiting eight years. I um I was gonna see off and they canceled the show. I think one of the members had a health problem. So um that's uh as soon as they hit Atlanta and make up that show, I'm gonna be there. So really happy to get off's new record or album, uh, free LSD. Um okay, oh so the next, so some of these I've shown before, but the schizos band from the high tone was uh the night that the schizos were playing the goner fest after party and this is 18 minutes of chaos you feel like you're at the show and you know they were too rambunctious so they were banned from the high tone but um it's really oh and what's great about this cassette each side is the complete album i think they're like six one two three four five I think it's seven, seven songs. So I'll have it in my cassette deck and I'll have auto reverse. So it's the, the album again on the next side. So 18 minutes in an hour, I listened to the show three times. You feel like you are at this chaotic wild show. They really captured it on tape. Love that. Um, 
Total Punk Records. Now this is this is the second press. I the first one sold out. So luckily I got on board for the second pressing. So Wild Shows. There's another band I love for just their their wild shows, their hardcore shows. This Atlanta band web i got i lucked out and i saw them for the third time last weekend they um so they really uh so debbie rode in on a scooter delivered a fierce show uh the band was delivered a very high energy show and then debbie rode off on the scooter and they uh they it, it was short because they haven't written any more songs but it's always just incredibly fun to see web um so uh oh so i was i was at rope bridge records first anniversary party at the inner space which is an underground atlanta it's an artist in residence carl james who's such was such a wonderful host made sure made sure i knew what bands were coming up and who was with you know like well, who was playing in this band and now two or three other bands on the same bill i went saturday and sunday night um so saturday Wait, I, I'm getting the days confused. So yeah, I, I saw Webb. Then um, I also, and, and Nog played, and I always speak very highly of Nog. Two members of Nog are in Royal Scam. This is their demo. It's a five minute, two song demo. Royal, Royal Scam is one of the songs and Pole Vault, I think is the other. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, two members of Nog, absolutely incredible, um, hardcore. Um, I can't wait to see more of what they do. So yeah, the Rope Bridge Records party, it was it was just so great. Um, the other bands, so there there's some really wonderful bands on Rope Bridge's roster, and other bands that I think I want to see more of. So Floral Print, I'm gonna say they were sort of post-punk. Um, and then um, oh, downgrade, which is total hardcore. And, and that was just, it got wild and I loved it. And, um, oh, but the best. So I loved, I fell in love with Mutual Jerk. And Tyler, who was the singer, is in another band called Blammo, where he plays the guitar, very surfy guitar. And, um, oh, and and they're, they're just wonderful. The singer plays bass and, oh, their vocals were just incredible. I think the singer's name is Sarah. And um, so Blamo, like I, after seeing Blamo, I'm like, I want to see them anytime they perform around Atlanta. And I don't know if Mutual Jerk is defunct. I was talking to Tyler and he said, and granted, I'd been drinking. I think, I think he said that uh, they were trying to get an LP together, but I thought he was talking about Mutual Jerk and maybe he was talking about Blamo. Really regret that I was drinking so heavily. I I couldn't. I died. Didn't. I think he said mutual jerk, but you know, like I said, I could be wrong about that. Um, so the other one. So this next one came out in 2021, but I got it in 2022. It's um Bad Brains, self-titled album, Bad Brains. This came out in '82, and when it originally came out, it came out on cassette. So. I, they did eventually put it out in vinyl, and I think Jason Skills in his last video showed a 90s pressing of this. But I'm like, hey, you know, the original came out on cassette. It's in a yellow shell. Um, I think the color, I got a green cassette. So, you know, hardcore and then interspersed with reggae because they're, they're, just, they're just this great, you know, obviously you've heard of uh bad brains hardcore band from washington dc they um they uh oh the the guitar dr no like i love his guitar throughout this and i've listened to this multiple times today getting ready for the video and yeah getting it on cassette was a good call that's how that's how the original was distributed so nice and and the the reggae in between is really it, it's it's it, you know, you go from the hardcore, you'll have like, you know, pay to come and then you'll have uh jaw. What is it? Um, oh gosh, I love jaw. You know, you, you have that and it's, it really makes a good, a great hardcore album interspersed with reggae. So the next thing I'm going to do, okay. I don't have a lot of box sets. I, I think I have one, two, I think I've got two or three. So 
I got this in the mail the other day. I have not opened it. So this is an unboxing. And um, this is the John Hughes six disc box set. Life moves pretty fast. And it's, it's movie or it's songs from all of those 80s films. So it's a lot of 80s, like new wave um, stuff. So I'm gonna, I've never done an, an unboxing video. Oh, it's almost, and I don't want to put, there we go. So yeah, I, I got this two days ago and I'm like, I'm going to wait for the video. And it's been a really hard wait. Um, and I've already examined, they have packaged this so well because like, I mean, this, the, um, there are like perforations as in transit. So they really packed it. Well, oh my God, this is so cool. The, um, yeah, look at this. It's uh, six discs. It's on red vinyl. Let me see if I can open it. Um, oh my gosh. This is so basically these songs are all, you know, you've got all these 80s band, um, OMD, Oingo, bon Oingo Boingo. Um, you've got um, Billy Idol. Oh my gosh. The beat, big audio dynamite. I love them. Suzanne Vega and Joe Jackson, uh, the Dream Academy, Kate Bush. Um, and then like on the fifth disc, you've got like Ray Charles, Marvin Gaye, Perry Como. Um, you've got Emmy Lou Harris, like all these people that you wouldn't associate with like 80s new wave. But these were in, I think they're like, I don't know how many films he did. I'm going to try to very carefully. I'm not going to bring out the razor part of my box cutters because I really want to leave this in good condition. So it's got like a clamshell. Oh, I'm going to save the hype sticker too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm going to look at, oh, I love this. It's got a 24 page booklet. I think it's got 73 songs. Oh, these are the right, let me just get to the booklet. Oh my gosh. We've got the booklet. Oh gosh, I love this. And people, Don Letts, all these people talking about this music and we've got photos. I am not going to be leaving my room this weekend because I'm going to be, oh my God, Jesus and Mary Chain, Love and Rockets, Gene Loves Jezebel, Flesh for Lulu, the specials. This is so cool. We've got, we've got um, Ferris Bueller himself with the director. Um, um, Matthew Broderick, of course. I love this. So let me just look at one of the, so the way it's made like, the, you know, they want to be like a mixed tape, so 80s. And let's just check if it is the red vinyl. Love that. I am not going to be leaving my room now that I've got this box set. I've never done an unboxing video. It's really exciting. Um, yeah, this is like my third box set. And because I really don't do box sets, but God, I just love the way it's deck. It's, it's packaged as like mixed tapes. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. Thanks for watching.